टुडे विल टॉक अबाउट एब्जॉर्बर्स आर एफ एब्जॉर्बर्स आर वेरी पॉपुलर इन टूडेज एरा रीजन बींग दीज आर यूज फॉर एनर्जी हार्वेस्टिंग दीज आर यूज फॉर electromagnetic compatibility these are used for scanning and imaging these are used as sensors for uh, me- measuring temperature in harsh environment these are used as retina these are used as load so there are tremendous applications as stealth because we know that a uh, bt bomber and there are fighter aircrafts they uh, they can be uh, invisible by using this absorber material Uh, on their surfaces so uh, for uh, defense purpose these rf absorbers are crucial as well as uh, for uh, energy harvesting these are very useful now for uh, they are generally made up from graphite graphene silicon ceramic form urethane fr4 elastomers so there are various materials available to design these rf absorbers now as we know there is a spectrum at rf frequencies and depending on the spectrum we choose the materials to design uh, these rf absorbers now uh, there are various parameters while we design and test these uh, rf absorbers for uh, characterizing and synthesizing these are we generally drive uh, absorptance that is known as absorption in percentages we uh, work out to match free space impedance that is 377 ohm uh, by uh, using quarter wave transformers we try to match z in z not zl then uh, at what frequency because these absorbers are designed for resonant frequency so we try to uh, get S11 that is reflection coefficient parameter. We try to get S21 that is uh, forward uh, power, or you can say transfer power. Then we try to measure uh, the permittivity. Permittivity can be split into two parts. One is uh, imaginary part, and second is real part. Similarly, we measure uh, relative permittivity. that is real part of permeability and imaginary part of the permeability we try to develop these absorbers as a polarization independent or in other way we can say that as incidence angle must be measured at different theta values that is 10 degree 20 degree 30 degree 40 degree 50 degree so wide angle response is better in case of uh, absorptance then we try to compute a oblique m that is uh, surface uh, magnetic current then v upon m uh, that is uh, e field or we can say the capacitance as well as uh, the uh, capacitance is developed from permittivity and uh, the inductance is developed from permeability so we want to uh, increase uh, the imaginary part so that absorptance is better then there are uh, three crucial parameters which we need to work out in the design part that is zn zn not and zl it is very difficult task to uh, match the impedance of total absorber with the free space impedance and that is our critical requirement also then there are srr these srr are split ring resonators these are selective and we try to develop these srr on the surface there are various type of srrs available t h ring split ring resonators then square rectangular so there are different shape of srr which we use in uh, selective surface to uh, receive for a particular wavelength on uh, the substrate then we try to compute equivalent rlc circuit of the absorber and there are few formulations which we used during the design of srr one is a is equal to 1 minus s11 square minus s21 square that is absorptance then the second is z is equal to 1 plus s11 upon 1 minus s11 
so we developed one srr i'll uh, show you the structure that for developing that uh, absor uh, absorber we have taken the bottom layer as gold then on that gold part we have placed silicon layer then on the silicon layer we have used sio2 substrate and on on top of sio2 substrate we have used srr of gold and then in the anechoic chamber we can see how much absorption is being obtained so reflection and forward power these both things are being measured in the anechoic chamber thank you this much is sufficient for today's class